wait a little bit and I'll go tell everyone, hey, stream finally up. Let's do it. Before work comes and takes me away. <laughs> and Before takes work me cometh. away. Let's get into the Christmas spirit by making Zen wish he never <laughs> agreed to watch this movie with me. Oh, man. All right, perfect. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, and yeah, let me put up the, the, there we go. Perfect. Using the good old media player, because for some reason, VLC does not work on here. Really? Yeah, I've tried in the past. I don't know what's up. Maybe it's something hard-coded into OBS itself. I've never been 100% sure why it acts the way it does. But, uh, yeah, it's real weird. It's real weird. Oof. Yeah, uh, actually, funny enough, talking about the work thing, I did get an email from work that was definitely like, oh, yeah, something happened. <laughs> uh -oh. and, you know that big old 7,000 big project thingy that we said that you had until basically after Christmas to do? Yeah. Uh, uh, fire drill. It looks like you might not have that amount of time. <laughs> oh my god, dog. I know. I was like, oh my god. And for a minute, it's like if if we were not doing this, I would been like, well, I have to drop everything and go do it. I was like, nah. I'm just gonna wait for work later today. Add it to that, and then I'm just gonna get bonus hours from that. Fuck y'all. There you L go. Literally last That's minute. The Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny too. Yeah, exactly. That's what... Uh, spoilers, that's what my work is working on. All right, let's get started on this movie. Before anything, let me just give a quick example of what Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny is all about. So there's actually two versions of Santa Claus and the Ice Cream Bunny. Um, one that tells the story of Thumbelina and the other one that shows Jack and the Beanstalk. I watched the Jack and the Beanstalk version. This is the Thumbelina version. Uh, it just in the middle of the movie until it deviates into a completely different story. Uh, all right. Uh, this version I haven't seen. Uh, I've up until the Fumbolina parts at least. It was I think made to promote some kind of roller coaster people. I think. Uh, and yeah, apparently this the ice cream bunny is uh, a well known fixture of that place. But that's enough. Now we can get into the actual movie. Feel free to tell me if it if you can't hear it in the stream or anything like that. Okay, but yeah, Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny. Oh, the stream. Duh, not me. Yeah, other people. Course. Yes, of course. So we start with uh, some amazing just Christmas carolings and Santa's song by B. Martin. Hopefully that doesn't get the stream taken down. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. When I was uploading the Halloween thing to my YouTube, I was surprised to see someone like said, like, actually, this song belongs to me. And I said, all right, then just mute it. I don't <laughs> I don't know what you think this is. Oh, is that uh, Snoopy? Yeah, that is Snoopy. Yeah. Snoopy's seen better days nowadays. Raggedy Ann. Yeah, they got a lot of licensed toys in this. Yeah, I'm sure that they got permission. <laughs> Tonka toys. Oh my god, that Snoopy looks sad. This is clearly the North Pole. As you can see by the reindeer, I think. Snoopy's Uncle Droopy. <laughs> Yeah, just keep beating on that monkey with the hammer. I'm sure the kid will really appreciate that when you get it. Are the are the elves child labor? Is that I thought they were just small by like genetics. Yeah, by genetics they are, but these people didn't understand that and so they got a bunch of children to say, you know what? Pretend to be making toys and their version of pretend to make toys is just like touch things. Alright. a very good reason. Yeah, they're really just like Santa carrying around toys. Easy. They're not really doing anything. Of all places for Santa to be in his sleigh, stuck in the sand, thousands of miles from the North Pole, way down in Florida. Oh my God, he's in Florida. And the worst fate of anyone. Oh God, help him! 
because they were so hot. They took off to the Yeah, this is also before practical effects. This man is actually in Florida in this wet red ass suit. Especially the long beard and the red velvet suit and the white fur. That's a lot of heavy clothing to be worn on a beach in Florida. And Santa Thank you, narrator. Was mighty uncomfortable. This is uh, reminding me of the Holes book because that really goes into detail about how hot it was in the holes you work. It's like a over 100 page, pages dedicated to how hot the sun was beating down on Stanley Gilnuts. Take it off, Santa. Yeah, I would. I can't stand the heat. I hate it so much. So I can't survive. Yeah, but I'm what a predicament. Well, first thing, Santa always See, this guy's method, though. He knows he's... Did, 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 did the sleigh crash? Did I miss that? Yes, yeah, so that's what they were implying in the beginning there, is that the reindeer came back to the North Pole, but there was no Santa. So Santa's missing. This they abandoned him. Yeah, the, the elves decided this. Like, that's weird. Santa's not here. So they sang a song about how Santa's not here instead of going to go look for him. Now Santa's going to sing a song. Santa, you should just leave instead of standing there singing. Yeah, fair enough. Santa employs child labor, not exactly boss of the year. My predicament lacks its usual cheer because Christmas Day will soon be here. What the hell was he doing outside of Christmas? I actually, I never actually put two and two together that this takes place before Christmas. What the hell was he doing? Was it a test run? <laughs> I guess. I like to think that the reindeer actually just left his ass in Florida because <laughs> they were tired yeah, of his shit. They were shit. Like out. They were out. Yeah. yeah. Union strike. Santa will not recognize the rights of the workers, so therefore we will take his ass to Florida. What the fuck was that cut from that kid? Ah, oh, sick jump. Ah, uh, remember when you did this as a kid, Zen? Oh, and you tried oh to God! The umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They couldn't show the rest because that kid died. <laughs> <The> smash cut. <laughs> That little girl clearly ate shit. I like how Santa isn't considering, like, maybe just fucking moving. Yeah, you'd think it. Like, just go somewhere else with these, your legs. These kids are also just straight up fucking fighting each other. <laughs> Truly, some next level cuts. I don't know why they cut off from her throwing the frisbee, dude. Was she so shit at the frisbee that they didn't want to show it? Oh, he's getting into it. You're just on the beach, dog. Like, you're not. You're not dying. Like, just. You also are magical. You're in a place most people wish they were. <laughs> it's true. Just probably not with as much clothes as he has on. No, but you could just, like, take some of them off. Is this Santa's curse technique? Yeah, this is actually his domain expansion. That's why all these kids are stuck in a freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> He's calling out to them psychically. Oh, now we see why. It is his domain! <laughs> He's calling them! <laughs> oh wow, that kid! Uh, I would have assumed you did. I like little. how they don't even like. There's no hesitation. No, none of them are like, "Hey, what's that fucking voice in my head?" They're just immediately like, "Oh shit!" This is borderline we a horror have to movie. Run to this strange adult calling us. Is that fucking Santa Claus? We need to go. We have to go now. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right. Stop the beef. There's bigger things going on here. Santa needs us. <laughs> Truce. Truce. Santa ain't even calling to them. There we go. God? <laughs> Good job, little girl. You really sold that you just heard it right there. This is what w welcomes you to hell when you go there.
oh, they're singing his song, but like super shitty. It's like a reap. <laughs> uh, I was trying to think about what. <laughs> what? <laughs> Santa acquiring more children. He needs them. This is how he gets his elves. <laughs> he pretends to be trapped in Florida. <laughs> yes. And then he's like, oh, we, got him. we got him, boys. This one looks like he can hammer home a monkey. Imagine being an adult and seeing this many kids fucking just booking it. I would call the cops. Booking it down the street. Yeah, what the f By the way, here's Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. They're oh, just even the dog is going. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the dog also wants to be a good boy for Christmas. Oh my god, he actually is? Are you serious? Yeah. What Go. the fuck is going on? <laughs> that road is ruined. <laughs> you were just joking. No. Can't you tell by their trademark cats? When is this movie set? <laughs> 1971. This is, I guess, a Tom and Huck Finn that has arrived. They're with a raccoon? It's Lerp. Oh my god, the raccoon is clearly attacking that child! <laughs> There's no way in hell they got a... The Santa Expanded Universe. Not a lot of people know this, but Santa Claus and Huck Finn technically take place in the same world. <laughs> the Christmas Cinematic Universe. <laughs> and there he is, dying of heat exposure. They were looking for the One Piece? Oh my god, this is the new hype anime they just announced. Yeah, this is the remake. I love when they don't just get an old guy to play Santa. Like, why is that guy, like, 31? <laughs> it's true. It'd be easier to hire an old guy. Like, when just they hire... an old guy! Yeah. <laughs> what do they all trust? Yeah. The first time <laughs> or, that's why Ernest Saves Christmas is one of the best Christmas movies, because they actually just got the old man who voices the Sultan to be Santa. And he looks exactly like Santa. Are you hurt, Santa? All of the children drop to their knees before the Lord, <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> he called them forth. Before the end of the night, one of you will betray me. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> One of you will further strand me in Florida. Why do you want to be Santa? Slay insurance would be cheaper too. It would be. We'll help you, Santa. How will you ever deliver the gifts? And what will happen to Christmas without you? Well, now you know that old Santa has never let you down before, and Santa isn't going to let you down now. But you must That's actually a lie. Santa has let me down before. I feel like Santa's let everyone down at some point, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of his job. That's why Krampus, that they wrote Krampus out of the lore and made it so Santa's both the good guy and the bad guy. But originally they were homies. Hey, Hawk, could that be Santa Claus? Hey, it is Santa Claus, Tom. But what do you suppose he's doing here? I don't know, Huck. He looks like he's stuck in his <laughs> What are we doing here, Huck? <laughs> That's a better question. We were supposed to be in the old-timey America. They look like, uh... Zack and Cody. <laughs> they do. Perfect cut. That dog having a time. I like how none of these Florida children are like, what should we do to help Santa? Get an adult. Yeah, that would be the number one answer. <laughs> Get an adult to help Santa. That's the plan. Yeah, I'm sure the none of them were thinking that at all. Meanwhile, Santa looks on joyously knowing that the child labor will save him once again. <laughs> it's all he knows. Yep. Oh, yes, go, children. Santa's gonna take a nap again. Dying in this heat. This guy has to be dying by this point. By golly, I have never been so hot in my life. Oh. Take the coat off. People yeah. don't wear shirts at the beach. Just take the coat off. <laughs> take the coat Just off. Take the coat off. Take the hat off at least, Santa. <laughs> take the yeah, goddamn hat. What are you doing? Alright, 
Okay, let's see what these kids' ideas to pull the sleigh are. Oh, that's some nice water. Fortunately, water doesn't look like that anymore. It looks a little bit more sludgier now. <laughs> <laughs> Has he died? Okay, now he's alive. Has, hasn't even moved off the damn <laughs> sleigh. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> the gorilla's gonna push the sleigh, Zed. <laughs> Oh, he's not strong enough. Maybe if your ass was out of the damn yeah, maybe sleigh. Maybe off of it, Santa. Mush, monkey. No, <laughs> stupid ape. Can't play yeah, Santa. He looks so disappointed. He's like, nah, nah, not this. Nah. <laughs> Here's a donkey that they found who clearly does not want to be a part of the movie. That child is legitimately yanking the shit out of that donkey's neck because he has no idea how to get it to walk. That is correct. So you just take him around, take him around the front, and then back him in. Back him in, and we'll see what happens. Take him around the front. That's it's it. one donkey. Don't you have like eight <laughs> reindeer to move that fucking thing? Typically he does. Whatever. I feel like the gorilla is stronger than the donkey. Yeah, the power scaling wise, the gorilla. If anything, the gorilla and the donkey should be teaming up. Yeah, but why are you only doing one? It's because this donkey refuses to work with any other actors. <laughs> they told me this was Union! Yeah, this, this donkey's clearly a diva. He won't get into the sleigh and pull the entire fucking thing by himself. Exactly. My agent will hear about this. <laughs> Everything shown after the gorilla has been weaker than the gorilla. Yeah, we're, I feel like I feel like pig is even weaker than donkey. Like we're going down the scale. We are. This pig sounds way. Ag That's why the sequel took so long. Contract disputes, of course. I appreciate this kid at least trying to tie the pig. Santa meanwhile is going like, I don't know what the fuck you're expecting, kid. What Damn pig won't you work. Do you want me to get off the sleigh and assist? I don't think so. You, the, the reason you can't. Be useful? No, no, no. Alright, I'm gonna work. Are with you, you tapping in, Santa? Also, you can check out Santa's ass where the clear dampness of being in that suit has finally gotten into him. Hold him. Come on, bring him in. Bring him in. Come on. Oh, let's pull harder. I we. A sheep? We really are going downhill on the list. We also, are. where'd they get that sheep? Oh, I'm sorry. On a Florida beach? Oh, Maybe no, these kids just robbed the local zoo. No, 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 no. Oh, let's take him out. Take him out. Oh, that poor sheep <laughs> clearly just doesn't want to be on the sand. No. Breaking news, children no longer allowed at the Florida Zoo. <laughs> yeah, you can see. Yeah, take a good look at Santa's back right there. Nothing but sweat. This man is dying in that suit. But he's a committed actor, so he's staying in the suit. Yeah, he's uh, he's determined. I like how the kid was taking Real the sheep one way and then went the other way. Because <laughs> the sheep <laughs> refused to go up the hill. Oh, we got a cow. Okay, we've at least moved up the list here. Yeah, it's a, it's better than the the it's bull. Better than sheep and pig. Maybe donkey. I don't. Probably better than donkey. Yeah, if we're gonna power. Maybe scale. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. I have to check their feats page on Wikipedia to see if <laughs> which one has better strength feats. I will say but, donkeys uh, are at least known to make the trips in uh, the Grand Canyon, which is more than I can say for a cow. That's but true. But whether or not the cow can do it or the cow refuses to do it, it's two different statements. No, that is not going to work. I like how Santa didn't try with any of the other animals, but the sheep and the cow, he's like, yeah, okay, these are the ones I want to try. Well, here comes the little boy and his horse. 
Santa assuming this boy just had a horse. I just don't know what will. Wait, does that mean he thinks that that little girl owns the gorilla? Well, son, what do you think? Shall we give it a try? Is that like like her pet gorilla? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You think you can back him in? I also like that none of these kids are interacting with Santa. Absolute fear. Well, yeah, because I think at first they're like, yeah, it's Santa. And now they're like, who the fuck is this guy? Is this actually Santa? Doesn't Santa have magic? This kid also has to be careful because this horse can chop off your fingers. Yeah, he's like, he's like punching the horse in the neck repeatedly to try to move yeah. the horse. My, uh, the director's not like, hey, hey, is that the horse going to kill that kid? It's very likely. My uh, my uncle works Santa with horses. Santa just walks behind the horse. Don't ever do that. Don't walk behind no. the horse, Santa. Yeah, my, uh, my uncle works with horses. He's worked for him for a good majority of his life. He's lost three fingers to the horses. <laughs> the horse giveth and the horse is taken away. Exactly. You know, do not underestimate them. They are beasts of burden. Let's all dig in as hard as I can. They're taking a lot of mileage out of the Santa in the Sand uh, move here. No, no, no. Good try, old boy. Don't damn him. He's three inches from the sleigh, but he won't go in <laughs> and walk him all the way back. Oh, God. <clears throat> now, what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> Same fucking man. question, Santa. Very good question. Same animal consultants as Ben Hur, probably. Nothing exactly. By this point, they were in real dire straits. By golly, it is. I have never been so hot in my life. Oh, look at that sun. Yeah, just point hey, the. Just go camera. to the town and go inside, dog. Like, what? I've yeah, his. Uh, about. All those little boys Santa's tired of this. He's doing it himself feeding. now. <laughs> the more sand he puts out, the more sand comes in. <laughs> this is mean to say, but Santa's monologue plays a lot like Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> like the, the like the non stop train of thought. <laughs> it's very much reminding me of that. Discouraged. Nothing <laughs> that kid is discouraged as fuck. But Santa is equal to any emergency. That little girl looks a something? lot like Videl for some reason. Pickle Santa. <laughs> yeah. This is what she was doing during the <laughs> during the cell games. <laughs> and I'll tell you a story that proves that if you have faith, then all your dreams will come true. Once upon a time. There was a beautiful little girl named Thumbelina who escaped from her kidnappers, and she endured all kinds of hardships until one fine day she met her Prince Charming. I mean, yeah, at some point these kids should kill Santa. Like <laughs> that, that's what they're thinking. If, if I spent all day raiding the zoo to try to get you out of the sand, and you were like, fuck it, let's talk about Thumbelina, I'd be like, you know what? Santa, how about you go fuck yourself, buddy? And, uh, let me talk to you about a story of faith. That's right, Thumbelina. Don't get confused with any other faith-based story. <laughs> oh yeah, sing it, girl. There, she is not singing that. <laughs> no, she's not. She also doesn't really strike me as a Thumbelina type because she's too goddamn tall. She's fucking tall as hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Martin Scorsese, this is actually one of his early films. Very experimental. This is what Hitchcock went to after the birds. Yeah. See, this is where I said I think it was made by a theme park. 
Because all of a sudden we're in a theme park. Who goes to the theme park and is like, I want to ride the fake pirate ship that doesn't do anything. I mean, they have to have something for the kids. I want to ride the dangerous horse thing. That like that? <laughs> oh yeah. My God, what is that? <laughs> yeah, no, st no straps. What the fuck? No <laughs> anything. I just want to cling to this shitty plastic horse. Oh God. We used to be a real country, Zen. <laughs> we used men used to go to war, <laughs> and the kids used to go to dangerous theme parks, and we don't have that anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Disney. The public has fallen. <laughs> The woke left have taken our way our horsey rides. <laughs> Once upon a time, we had fun, exactly. Who just starts singing and is like, hey, what if I was small? I know. First of all, of, of all the fictional fairy tale people to stand, Thumbelina would be the last on the list. Yeah, that's really low on the list. I feel like. Yeah. Who, who's Team Thumbelina? Like, what are you talking about? Pirates World presents. Thumb Hans Christian Andersen, Thumbelina. Of course, the most famous work of Hans Christian Andersen. Don't get confused with Little Mermaid or Mellow Matchstick Girl, whatever. Bullshit. It's all about Thumbelina and what looks like to be some kind of weird startup to a porno, to be honest with you. Yeah, what is happening? I thought this was a Christmas movie. <laughs> it, it, the, what's more Christmas than Santa telling us a story? Zen. Look at those adorable Christmas themed lizards. <laughs> I also like that we're hitting, getting hit by credits again because it's a completely different movie. Oh yeah, what, dude? <laughs> I'm so confused. Welcome to the fairyland of Hans Christian Andersen. I am going to tell you oh, the shit, story in the back rooms. of Thumbelina because this little Dog, girl. Did, did the director really need to put his name in the beginning and like have someone <laughs> literally read it? And I think you know, I, I think if we showed Kojima well this, we can make the world's funniest movie afterwards. Like, he would look at this movie and go like, ah, yes, I see where they're going adventures. with this. <laughs> I see Thumbelina's the vision. <laughs> Get Norman Reedus on the phone. Oh my god, a spinster? She wanted ever was she? So badly to have someone to love Thumb to care for. So she finally decided to do something about it. But she couldn't do anything because she was a woman. <laughs> that, that, that reminds me of A Wonderful Life. Remember the best part of A Wonderful Life where he goes like, what happened to my wife? You don't want to know. Tell me what happened to my wife. She grew old. She never married. <laughs> She's in the librarian. And it's like the most dramatic shift of the entire world as he goes running for her. I'm getting so tired of being lonesome. I know. This afternoon, I'll go see the witch. And maybe she will bring me a little girl. That's how all yeah, men... Yeah, that's how, that's how children work. Yeah. Yeah. You, go to, you go to the witch. Lena, you go to the local witch. To go to your local witch, please. I'm waiting for the gorilla to show up again. If the gorilla shows up for Fun it might in fact be the greatest movie of all time. Chekhov's gorilla. Don't use a gorilla in the first act if you won't use by the end. Chekhov's gorilla. I love it. Oh, she's even got the arch back like a witch. Her magic. It must have frightened the prospective mother. Now, the moon is in retrograde, so of course it's the perfect time to have your child. How desperate? I mean, honestly, if you're just desperate for a child, just find a terrible man over going to a witch. There are men <laughs> willing to yeah, be with there's... Yeah, there, there's always options before the local witch, I feel like. Yeah, like, how bad are you just like, I've tried for years, and you know what? Just not happening. Going to the witch. Last year I turned an ugly toad into a prince real quick. And now for you I'm gonna do an even better trick. Sow a little seed, grow a little princess, 12 new pennies make your wish come true. Come a little seed, come a little princess. Is, 
are, are we just good guys in this? Because she seems pretty helpful. Maybe this is the first ever depiction of the good witch. Because, you know, the witches' association are always fighting back about saying, like, hey, we get a real bad rap for all the things that we allegedly do. Where are the positive witch role models out there? Here she is. Thumbelina. From a little seed comes a little princess. That's what magic can do. This witch is extremely powerful, by the way. She's just creating life out of plant matter. I mean, yeah. So she's creating is... sentient human life out of plants. Something that gets... so we're so if we're doing on the on the on the the power scale, it's this witch and then the gorilla. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I can't tell if they're reusing this shot of her going back to the fucking culture. <laughs> I'm losing my mind thinking that the movie is on loop. I think the gorilla had a, has a chance. Like, if he goes up there and just fucking starts wailing on her before she does any of her hocus pocus, I think he's got a, a, a real good shot at winning. <laughs> the gorilla just throws hands immediately. <laughs> exactly. That's the thing, is that I think, in, for most cases, if you have a witch fight a gorilla, I think the gorilla will win if the gorilla could get his hands on the, the witch and or wizard before they start casting spells. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like that's reasonable. And this spell apparently has an entire fucking song that has to go along with it before yeah. they can even do it, so... Gorilla nod win. <laughs> Holy shit, keep the kid. If you'll stop singing, I don't even want the kid anymore. This is a fucking nightmare. You say you would like a little girl. Oh my god. Wait, you're just checking it out? What was the song for? <laughs> That's just her intro song that just plays. <laughs> you're just asking what I want right now. My own choosing. No one would have me. Have you help me? Oh, I don't want to make fun of this lady. And I would raise her to be a beautiful young lady and give her all the advantages that I never had. Like the ability to vote. Oh, you want a little girl? Oh, yes. Oh, oh I don't like the way the witch asked like that. That was a very that was a very scheming witch way to ask that question. It does. But maybe she's sexist. Do you know what this is called? <laughs> the first ever no, sexist witch. But anything at all. <laughs> As long as you fulfill my wish. Anything? It'll cost you 12 pennies. 12 pennies for a child. But In this damn, economy? America's healthcare is really, <laughs> it's really behind. It is. Someday this little girl will be a princess. Oh, I promise. I will even treat her like a queen. Which is one step above a princess. Yeah, yeah. All right. You drive a hard bargain, lady. <laughs> Twelve pennies, let's go. And treating this little girl as a queen. All right, time to bullshit up some magic for this old woman. You know, very uh, interesting shot choice here. They were, the director really had his bag on that shot. Yeah, yeah. Can you cover Got up it. as much of what's happening <laughs> with the fucking cauldron that you can? Not like those grown in the farmer's field and fed to his chickens. This has a special magic. Plant it. Treat it with loving care. And you will have your child. Oh, thank you. Thank it's a little on the you nose. Plant your seed and, and then you'll have your child. Yeah, well, you. you know, I think that was the problem. I think Remember, that's why she's here to begin with. <laughs> if I had, if, lady, if I knew how to plant the seed, I would not be here with you right now. Yeah, I wouldn't have listened to that entire Mother fucking three minute song. Yeah. About the magic of the seed. But she wanted to believe. So she the went magic of the home, seed. That the that's what I call it, baby. <laughs> the magic of the seed. The magic of this big ass seed. It is. I mean, there's a little girl in there. But even a seed that holds a little girl it's has. Still to early. I think I'll plant it now. Why would you disobey okay. the witch? Yeah. 
The witch is the only one that knows what to do. Unbelievable. Women, am I right? Just <laughs> not... <laughs> they don't even listen to themselves. This is unbelievable. Good thing I have just the right pile of... <laughs> Good thing I have a fucking plot of dirt inside of my house. As a Hispanic family, I can understand. Sometimes you just need to plant shit <laughs> and not leave those. I it tenderly, watered it. And sure enough, like magic, it started to grow. No oh, other flower had grown yeah, that so fast <laughs> from that a face. small bud to a Oh my god, live flower. reaction. She had the second. fucking first reaction. She's like, <laughs> hey, what's, what's going on here? I planted a Three seed and got a child? Magic. Question. Hey, I went to a witch to get a magic seed that would grow a child, and now it's growing a child. Perfect. Now, will they use a little action figure to make it seem- child Okay, no, they're just gonna exactly cut away. What she expected in size, but certainly Is any child else really? Perfect. The girl listening this to the story is like, Damn, I can't wait to be Thumbelina. Be <laughs> right it's really convenient that right she uh, came out of the plant like a full adult already, so you don't have to do any of the shitty parts of raising a child. Yeah, and with clothes. Yeah. Where are you going to sleep? Bitch, wherever she wants. You, you didn't get a bed? You wanted? You can get like a fucking bed for the child that you wanted? And I would love it if this woman just started complaining about like, oh, now I had to put you through college and I have to worry about so much. <laughs> just the minute she gets the kid, she's fucking miserable. Yeah. And you know, I'm going to love you too. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, 1945. I've been a lonesome woman all my life. And now, you and I are going to have fun. <laughs> this looks like Blade Runner. Don't make your daughter sleep in a fucking bowl. Do you think I could have something to eat? I'm very hungry. It's also really convenient that she was mother. born with, like, Although complete mastery over the English the language. Tabletop, Again, that witch knew what she was doing. Yeah, that witch is really good at her job. A walnut shell. Her life was perfect. Not if she's sleeping in the walnut shell. I have never heard a single person who would be like, yeah, walnut shell, my her life is joy awesome. Was now which had fulfilled her promise in every way. Treat her well, for she may be a princess, the sorceress had said. Thumbelina's mother intended to do just that. Thanks, Thumbelina's mother. You're really you're really on the ball. I know, she's such a good mother. As we can see from here. A whole walnut shell. I know. <laughs> like, it'd be very easy to just cut off, like, a little piece of pillow and have her sleep there, but not want it, chill. No, the hardest possible surface I can think of. <laughs> There's no way you can love your life, Thumbelina. Girl, please wish for better. <laughs> please. Have some fucking respect for yourself. Please. Have some, please. Have some. I know that this is the 1970s, and honestly, living in a walnut shell and being undeterred is maybe the best a woman could ask for. But you should shoot for more. What other children? Who? <laughs> How yeah, old are you? It's like your first day alive. You don't know other children, you don't know anything. You are both simultaneously at zero years old and also in the body of like a 17 year old. Which is hell. It's like Benjamin Button. <laughs> yeah, bring it home. This is the choreography that you would expect from a musical. This is basically Wonka that I saw last night. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Chalamet watched this every night, and he's like, I need to get this kind of energy. I need to be her. If only I could be Thumbelina level. <laughs> <laughs> Director stopping every take, making him rewatch the scene, saying, I need you to be more like her. More whimsy. <laughs> Look at her enjoy her fucking no, terrible no life. No dancing, only whimsy. <laughs> Girl, we're gonna need you to do this dance at least seven more times in a row. How I love my little dance on the tabletop. I 
probably good thing they mentioned that she loves doing this dance to explain why she's yeah, doing it so much. Yeah, yeah, thank God. <laughs> we couldn't tell otherwise. I can't imagine someone doing a dance nonstop because they actually hated it. Except for maybe Hans Christian Andersen, who would write a story like that. You have never. I hate this song. You've never seen another child in your life. <laughs> you have no idea what they look like. I also think that if you saw any other children, they would instantly kill her. Yeah, she's just like, so tall, uh, so small. Any other child that saw her, would be like, what the fuck is that, dude? It's like Stuart she's Little. So tiny. Yeah. It's like her and Stuart Little. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. Oh, back in the wall. Life was to be threatened. Damn, Thumbelina, your life frog. great. Just keep Cutting to this woman. Who is this woman? Oh! Oh my god. Wait. My mother's getting me a wife. All this time I've been doing nothing but sitting by the pad going ribbit, ribbit. Or sometimes when I get bored, I go chuggle run, chuggle run. What I need is a little girl. Oh boy. A what? <laughs> Wonder where my mother is. She's gotta hurry. He says his mom's gonna go get him a wife. Found that her little girl had disappeared. She yeah, but I don't think any sad. any script for any film should ever have the phrase "What I need is a little girl" in it ever. Probably ever. not. I brought you a wife, my son. Isn't she beautiful? Rivet, rivet, rivet. <laughs> Don't make so much noise or she will wake up. While I am How did this frog house, kidnap her together. from the top of the kitchen table? This frog is apparently just sick with it. This is, yeah, she's, this frog she's, is just built different. She, knew, she knows that off-screen jutsu that uh, <laughs> so many characters know what. <laughs> so can I learned it from her. <laughs> Froppy origins. This frog could beat Gojo. <laughs> no, I'd win. Stand proud. <laughs> you are strong. <laughs> yeah, this is the origins of, of Froppy from My Hero Academia. <laughs> Until a fish felt sorry for her and chewed the roots of the lily pad loose so that it would float downstream away from her captors. <laughs> what? That was the best take you got. (laughs) The the only take they got. I just realized they're supposed to be simulating flying. (laughs) But they can't fly, so they're just jumping around. Why do they have wings and arms? I mean, this is just peak bird form. Wait, are those supposed to be birds? They have like six legs. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be like crows. Why do they have so many legs? Huh, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. They said bugs, so maybe it's a spider? But spiders don't have but they wings. Have, they have wings, their human arms, another set of arms, and then their legs. This is, Maybe this is the original Nomo. An abomination towards God. <laughs> All for one is after the quirk that makes Thumbelina <laughs> this small. The first original one to get the first quirk, Thumbelina. <laughs> Girl, you should not be singing this with in the forest randomly. Yeah, you're really tempting fate in the forest right now, singing that. Yeah, it's like singing a song saying, I'll never be murdered while I'm alone. writes this fucking music. <laughs> he sat down and wrote Diddly D, dude. Fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck that person. That was a guy, that was a songwriter who was, uh, who really needed money that day. He's like, I don't know, Fiddly D. See, there look, go. look, they have front arms. <clears throat> okay, yeah, you're right. They have, like, two arms. My, my, what a funny looking bug you are. I am not a bug. I but it looks like it's supposed to be a I'm bird. A girl. Hmm. My name is Thumbelina. That cannot be true. Human beings are large creatures. 
You are smaller than we are. You must be some kind of a bug. I will ask the advice of my friends. She says she is a human Fuck being. Me. I think she's fine. <laughs> what did you pay this person? Like three dollars and a half of Snickers? <laughs> she looks like a human being. This looks like There's something I would make when I'm like seven. Ugly. But she's so small. I will ask the advice of I my think companions. She's terrible looking. <laughs> I like that her companion said, she's so ugly, but she's so small. Weezer, or pinch her, or do something. The forest was filled Other friend was like, yeah, I'm, I'm down with this plan. And? Ah, oh, damn, Fumbelina, you're in danger. Her courage up. It took many days <laughs> Just to start watching the story of Fumbelina. She ate berries and nuts, and eventually learned to look after herself very what? well. He ate what? <laughs> well, yeah, also, and, damn! I guess it, I guess the predators just fucked off. They're like, yeah. Whatever. I mean, they can't out they can't outsmart Tumbelina. She's got all the, the smart of a human in the small, was small pint size. Very happy to have escaped the marriage to a frog. Her life in the forest had become almost fun, except that this summer a didn't frog arranged forever. marriage plotline. <laughs> They really need to call back to it. Winter winds. And finally the first okay, th fall. this is the part where I'm pretty sure Thumbelina would die in the winter. I refuse to believe that Thumbelina is going to live it out, especially wearing this one set of clothes. Yeah, the only set of clothes she has, and her shoes are like ballet slippers. Exactly. No way Thumbelina survived in the night. Maybe if it was the gorilla. Thumbelina is thin, bro. <laughs> Thumbelina died in the winter that night. Thumbelina tried to protect herself. As best she could, but finally decided that she must search for a place to live underground, like the other animals underground. I had done. This is where their mother will be found. All right, she's gonna have to finally let this. Is, she's gonna go back to the frog, right? Look who came crawling back! <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, the frog house is good enough. Yeah. Ribbit, you can stay here with me and my mom, Ribbit. <laughs> Let me show you my sweet collection of new exorcist manga. <laughs> <laughs> the little girl hesitated to bother us, but was so cold that she finally gained enough courage. <laughs> Ribbit for her pleasure. See, if he had used lights like that, he maybe would have been able to keep her around. Hello? I'm afraid about what animal is going to be behind this door. May I come in? What the fuck? That's horrifying. Whatever that was. It is. I would not. Girl, don't go in there. You are terrible at stranger danger. My, my. What do you want, my dear? May I come in? No, nope, leave. And leave right now. Almost immediately. She's either sinister or old. What is this, a mole? Maybe. She's definitely mole like. Anyone who looks at you and says, My dear, get get out of there, bro. Usually in bad for What is the pretty little girl doing out in the forest? Don't you have a home? I had a very nice home, but a nasty old frog stole me away. She wanted me to marry her son. Ugh, he was terrible looking. I certainly Damn, frog son that. catching strays. Frogs are terrible looking. Oh no, she's racist. She <laughs> is racist. What happened here? If you are oh, going those to marry frogs. Anyone, it should be a mole. It is a mole. I wasn't really counting on marrying anyone. I'm just getting started in life. There are <laughs> you should marry anyone. It should be. What is it? These people trying to. Settling. Forcibly marry off. Not decide on those things it's... too quickly. Yeah, it's I also like that she's like, I'm not ready for that, and everyone else is like, Yeah. And unless you have a nice man <laughs> to take care of you, terrible <laughs> things can happen. Look Put it on her shirt. I am very secure here. My husband worked and worked <laughs> and worked. But I think I am too young to get married. 
This, they played this movie Don't when Susan B. Anthony was like, hey, I think we should vote. They're like, no, listen to the mole. No, my dear. Listen to the mole. The writer had something to say. Maybe it was written by the guy who made my hero academia. The misogyny is right on par. Now he needs to introduce like a super strong woman and never get soloed by the frog somehow. Anyway, you eat your dinner now, and we'll talk about it all later. I'm going to give you some pamphlets. I'm going to show you some sites that really talk about how we can return back to our gonna, natural we're values. Gonna, we're going to watch someone called Alex Jones. <laughs> here in a minute. Life with me Damn, happy. you watching Alex Jones from the Polina? You get to get her. Again. Again. <laughs> I made her a nice bed by the fireplace. And together we talked of many things through the long winter months. She's still there for the entire winter. Oh my god, I would. That was literally what me with my. When I had to live with my uncle. Forced to listen to Fox News every single day. <laughs> you just don't understand. The frogs are attacking traditionalist mole values. They heard about the fucking chemicals in the water, man. Last summer came. It was an inside job. could again spend her time above ground. Enjoying the beauty of Mother Nature. Bye, Mother Mole. I'm gonna go see if I can find those paid actors. Damn, she lived with that mole the whole fucking winter? Yeah, I guess so. I guess the mole was just cool with her hanging out. <laughs> she didn't have anyone else to hang out with. Even though she had a husband. Maybe the husband was too busy working. He's like, whatever, woman. Sure. <laughs> Keep the little girl with you. Visitor. Insisted on waiting until the little girl returned home. Oh no. Run, Thumbelina. You're about to get forced. So, did that married. original mom who bought her from the witch, is she just out? Is she just like, oh, well, hello. maybe she's looking for her? Thumbelina, dear. And it's terrible at her job. I would like you to meet Mr. Digger. He lives near here. But Not he saying goes that, south for the winter. Now that it is spring, he is back again. And upon learning that you were my guest, he insisted on staying so that he could meet you. Jesus Christ, dude. This is the rapiest group of animals. They are. How do you do, sir? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My, my. What a beautiful child. <laughs> Christ, right. who wrote this? She is exquisite. I'll like have a beam of sunlight. Or so they tell me what a beam of sunlight looks like. I cannot stand the light myself. I much prefer the dark. I've been in prison for 12 years. <laughs> I haven't seen the sun. <laughs> oh, God. Why don't you come with me? Oh. And I will show you some very interesting things that I have collected from all over the world. I have one specific interesting thing. <laughs> and I'm performing with the patriarchy. <laughs> yes. He is a fine gentleman. And I have known him for a long time. Oh God, she's vouching for him. The allegations. We're good friends. Yes, my dear. There is nothing to fear from an old gentleman like myself. What the Come fuck? Now. They're trying to marry her off an old man. I think to so. Show you. Don't go later. with her, girl. Yeah, no, do not. Do not. Oh my God. God. This is the most stranger danger ass story I've ever seen in my life. Look at his glasses! Oh yes, indeed. It is the nicest oh, place there is. Oh yeah, the, the glass is doing there wonders is all the way by his nose. What a beautiful way to live. You don't like the blue skies and the trees? I like the tree roots. <laughs> they are delicious. Some of them, that is. But I have come across a few that are bitter. No, I mean to look at the trees and the sky and the clouds. Oh, that is of no interest to me. Besides, all those things hurt my eyes. Oh, God. This does feel like a horror movie now. Yeah, it, dude, the vibes are horrendous. They are. This is where I live, as you can see, only one bed. Oh, Unfortunate. <laughs> For you. <laughs> he froze in the winter. 
He fr oh, that's he a dead animal. Caught by the early snowfall on his way oh south. Oh my God! There's just a corpse to down here. That hole to keep warm. Anyway, he's an ugly creature. <laughs> he's ugly. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares that we found his corpse? We only care for the pretty things down here. Girl, get out of there. She really should be. She's too trusting of strangers. Her mom did not yeah, teach her Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, I, I blame the mother, to be honest. You must have traveled in many countries to have collected so many beautiful things. Where the fuck is the mole going to go with I'm glad you appreciate them, my dear. It's not Stop often that her, someone dear. as young as you notices the finer things. For instance, Jeez. that chandelier. It came from an old chateau in France. And I refuse to snow. believe this mole it went to France. It was made by the <laughs> finest Dutch craftsmen. My rug, woven by the oldest firm in Persia. And my paintings, the best of the old masters. Yes, I've spent Where'd my you get life money? Where'd you get this money, <laughs> mole? And now that I am older, now that I have I'm... only one sorrow. I never met Oh, God. How can say someone it. as wise and as wealthy as you have a sorrow? Ah, Don't fucking say it's because you didn't marry. When I was young, I worked very hard. And as oh, I God. acquired my wealth, I spent it on all this. But my possessions and all my money have not brought me happiness. I should have spent it on oh, women. Here it is. Yep, here it comes. You have and a relic? I'm sure you have many friends. Oh, I have lots of friends. But most of them would disappear very quickly if they thought I had lost my money. You are lucky. Real. You're a mole, dog. <laughs> the world's of riches mole, friend, apparently. You know they truly mean it. He was well, involved in the illegal diamond trade. Thing like you lonesome? Oh, How god. could that oh, be? Oh my god! This is this is I horrifying. I really complain because Mrs. Mole has been so good to me, but I am very. No. Lonely. You see, I was stolen from my mother by a nasty frog, and then I ran away and hid in the forest. I have really nothing that I can call my own, or any place that I could call my home. It's such a funny world. Here I am with everything. And I'm unhappy. And there you are. A beautiful child with everything to look forward to. Not and you're calling unhappy. her a child. Come here, my dear. Oh, God, no. Don't, don't, don't. don't, don't. A charming okay. young lady like you should not be forced to face this life alone. It can oh, be very God. difficult. I am sorry for what's happened. And I Jesus wish it was within fuck. my power to make you truly happy. But alas, I do not know where your home was. And if I did, I would not know how to get you back there safely. It's true. I've wandered in the woods for so long that I don't know where I am. <laughs> I've tried being if lost in the woods and it just thought, nothing happens. From the moment I met you, Thumbelina, I have been enchanted by your charm. Mind you, that was about that seven minutes ago. I nothing except a lonesome yeah. old man. But I do have everything you need. I have a beautiful home and... More than enough money to last you all your life. I hesitate. I can't live much you, that much longer. But under the circumstances, I'm old. I think it would be appropriate. Um, Thumbelina, will you marry me and live here? With oh my me? God! Oh God! Marry you? Why, Mr. Digger, you just met me today. I yes, know, girl. Mr. What? All of a sudden, I knew it was the right thing to do. I, I knew I had to snatch you. you up before someone I else came. I want to see that you are safe from all the things that can happen to you. Please. I know this is very sudden, and you don't have to give me your answer now. Go back and talk I like how his, his and we'll offer of safety is contingent days. on marriage. Please, It Thumbelina. is. He's like, listen, I, know I'm not I need you here. I know I'm not young, 
but you must think of your future. And I'm not handsome or young, but we'll make up for it with so heart. much cash. Yeah, I'm not handsome or young, but I will be dead soon. <laughs> and I'm very rich. At most, Thanks it's a year with me, here. come on. I know you've meant everything you've said sincerely, and I will think about it. I need you to stand down, my guy. Is he humming? Here comes the bride. He is. He's ready for it. I hate. I hate everyone. Damn, Thumbelina, you're gonna get married with an old ass mole. Marriage. She had decided to go through with it. What? Only to help me. I know he is an older man, but he is very rich. He has many things, and he has much knowledge. And he this is a fucking nightmare, dude. This is like a horrifying. Oh my god. <laughs> this is. Reminder: Santa is older, telling this to children. <laughs> and my store of food and things left by my husband is running out. I imagine there is enough to last me all of my days. Why doesn't you? Why don't you get married to the old ass mole? What am I to do? I am getting. Too old. I'm oh, only dear. 30. I didn't know I had been imposing on you. Isn't there something I could do to help? This is clearly a workshop. Of course there is. And She's being set up so hard, it's crazy. Doing the dishes <laughs> and the laundry. What I am saying is for your future. For your own good. You Mary should seriously Rich. seriously consider Mr. Digger's offer. Most girls would be flattered. Oh, oh, God. I am flattered. Don't misunderstand me. God, this is a it's fucking, a, like, nightmare well, scenario. I thought love and romance were beautiful things, not just a practical affair. They are. But as you get it, though, <laughs> the, <laughs> the hardest butt in ever in human history. To be practical. <laughs> then you'd like me to marry Mr. Digger? Oh, yes. I think it would be the best thing for you, my child. That way, I will know you will be taken care of forever. Good night. <laughs> Thumbelina off screen saying good night. Yeah, yeah, no, sing about how you don't want to be a mole's fucking wife. That is the perfect time to sing. Who wants to be in an arranged marriage? Forced to be with a fucking mole, man. <laughs> Jesus, dude, this is the worst shit I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> I want to say, Jack and the Beanstalk was not this creepy rapiness. <laughs> Dumbledore. Yeah, why is it so, like, rapey? It's the 1970s and the people are, like, not good at making movies, so <laughs> you get this. Why is every character like, hey, you know what would be a good idea? If you just uh, lived your life in servitude to me. Forever. Yeah. yeah. That's all that Thumbelina's been doing as soon as that she was out of her mother's sight. Well, time to go to bed. Get ready to live my life as Mrs. Mole. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I have to hear the robin sing and see the swallow on the wing because I am a flower child. I, I was gonna say the flower child because you were actually literally born from out of a flower. Yeah. Not because you're like a hippie or something. Though I think a hippie would probably try and get with a mole if she could. It was different. Truth. It was free love back then. It was yeah, a little bit different. Different time. Different time. Different time. People more open. But a hippie would do it for the love of the game, not for the money. I just want to be clear. <laughs> 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 Moles go where others might not. Please don't put that image in my head. <laughs> no. You should cover up. 
Oh yeah, the the poor dead bird that my mole husband was like, that's a waste of fucking space. Uh. Time to pay respect to the dead. Poor bird. I brought the blanket to cover you so people won't stare. I do believe I hear a very faint heartbeat. How? Perhaps what the fuck? She's an empath. She can feel. <laughs> she can feel the inside. <laughs> Maybe this blanket and my warmth will thaw his cold blood. Is that, is that what you think? Is that is that the scientific knowledge you were yeah. fucking birthed with, Mr. Mole? Looking from the window, going, I can't believe she's giving it away for free. Warmth. Actually thought the bird's frozen blood. It was slow, but she oh shit, her domain. nursed her new friend. She's back using her domain health. expansion. The She's bird, healing of him. Was grateful, and so was Thumbelina. Uh... It took her mind off her marriage to Mr. Digger, and gave her hope that all the things she found beautiful in the world were not going to be lost forever. And this is where Mr. Digger comes in and kills that bird. Kill her hope. Your wedding day. This is the time a girl should be happy, not sad. Why are you so sad about being in a marriage of a loveless marriage? Yeah, in a horrible loveless marriage. Someone who would come and take me in his arms. I would be happy to be his wife. I would love a man to come and take me into my arms. really here. gone too far now to disappoint Mr. Digger. Can't back Which out I of it! You had decided weeks ago that it was the best thing to do. Oh, I know it is the best thing it's to do. It's really make. gone too far but now I'm for you to Digger not live as this her. fucking mole's wife. Also, Miss Mole Lady, please put your hands away from that dress. <laughs> it's very weird. I would prefer it if you were you not too close to it. Why in the sunlight? There aren't very many days you can enjoy things like that anymore. God damn, well, they sure being married the sucked ass in the 70s. Stay with him in his underground home. I'll go out. She the removed that dress with like quickness. My friend, the bird is doing. Oh, that silly bird. I wish he would up and fly away. She is so racist, dude. Oh, she is unbelievable please. levels of He's racist. He's the only friend I have who wants to enjoy the blue sky and the forest. But he isn't practical. He nearly lost his life because he was caught in the early snow. He should have flown south long before he did. He said he did. With his own how people. Late the year it had gone. He was so happy flying from tree to tree and bush to bush and enjoying the beautiful sky. That it was too late, the person in that suit cannot see shit because oh. the way that they're treated that wedding dress makes it very clear that they cannot okay. see what the fuck is in front of them. And I'll just kind of grab it around here, sure. Oh, Mr. Child Digger. Bride, are you ready? <laughs> You're an old rascal. Whoever thought you'd end up with a beautiful young wife? Not me. Maybe all the Nobody. hard years of work Look were at worth you. it. You're a fucking monster. Oh, yeah, moles are happen. pretty blind. You're right. We'll travel together. This is why we, have, we can't trust people with money. Then they're gonna keep he taking our young, man, tiny women. She's done the best thing for yeah, her. I'm really getting weirded out by the amount of emphasis he keeps putting on how like little There's and young she is. About it at all. Oh, Thumbelina. Again, Thumbelina at this you point has to be at least one year happy. old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, don't mm -hmm. sing that song. That's creepy. No man has ever sung the wedding song and not looked creepy. Not look like a fucking freak, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that his name is Mr. Digger? That is correct. You are not hearing anything <laughs> wrong. I cannot that emphasize. Was his name. Yes. D. My friend is gone. Oh god. I'm really going to have to marry that old fucking mole. <laughs> I have no choice, I really have to marry this fucking mole. Well, you know, that fucking bird friend of mine was gonna fly away. I was kinda hoping to be on the back and, you know, kind of escape. But no, okay, I'll just stay here in the fucking underground. 
I'm just trapped here underground with this fucking mole. Do be freezing your hands and toes. She's right. By a purple stream, you can dream your dream. By a palm, a yellow lemon tree. Wanna fly away from another day when the spring. So, how is that girl back at the museum who's singing, like, I wanna be like Thumbelina? I want her to sing by the end of this. I guess I don't wanna be Thumbelina. Yeah, maybe I don't want to be Thumbelina after all. No. This is the next song that we hear. Hell no. Like, now that I've experienced half of Thumbelina's life, it fucking sucks. She lived in the yeah, hood. In, in hindsight, I want very little to do with Thumbelina's life. Yes, now that I've done some proper research and learned that she almost married a blind fucking old mole, I think I'm done here. Basically getting groomed by the, the mole partners underground. Take one last look at the sky that I'll never see again. Feathers? From a bird? Every time I think the song is close to done, they take like a good like minute break to let the person catch their breath. Mm -hmm. How I wish that I knew a way to fly through the sunshine alone. If if your feeling about your potential upcoming marriage is Jesus Christ, I wish I could fly away from this place. Uh, maybe don't get married. Like just yeah. don't. Just don't do it. That's our uh, written like advice here don't get married if you want to get away from them don't marry for me yeah, if you're terrified at the prospect of being stuck with them uh just don't uh marry them yeah just don't do it man it ain't worth the money it ain't worth the hassle now they're gonna go back to the mole and one of them will have fucking died i'm surprised she's not dull she's only being held up by her hate and the potential of seeing this woman get married off to another mole that's all she's got left <laughs> All I got left is I need to see this girl get married. I kind of want to see where this goes. I'm going to be now, honest with you. What is the matter? My bird is gone. He has flown away. Ah, oh, so... Uh, dude, that is all they really held open yet. auditions for this at the fucking rec house, center. Yeah. And then he leaves. Typical but bird leaving. I told you these birds are silly. She cannot hold back things. her racism. Now you run out and play, because tomorrow is going. Run to be out and play? How fuck, Jesus, dude! Yeah. Go play her soccer. Was gone. Thumbelina was very sad. This would be the it last out. time she Mr. would see the ground. Him. Oh god! The last time she would see the trees, and the last time she would see the blue sky. She must have been excited. Extremely happy to hear Mr. Bird's voice. Thumbelina! Oh shit, this thing's gonna talk now. Oh god! I shouldn't be. I'm trying my wings. I feel much stronger now. Gazooks! What's the matter? <laughs> Tomorrow I must marry Mr. Digger, the mole. He's old and ugly. <laughs> I'm half expecting this bird to give his pitch why, why, why she should marry him. And the butterfly and the beautiful blue sky. Don't go to them. Marry me and we can be in the sky forever. No, I don't love him. I respect him. I appreciate what Mrs. Mole has done. I don't love him. I respect him. Disgust me. It isn't fair for her to have to worry on my account. The worst she can say is no. Why don't you go away? There are many places for a girl like you. Where? I know nothing of the world or what to do. I would be lost. 
and I don't know shit. It would be falling. That is not true, Thumbelina. Every summer I fly north, and as autumn comes, I fly south. I see many places and towns where they have people. People like you. Look at that, look at that amazing beakwork. Like I know. I'm Jim so Henson cool. on fucking watch. I know, but a mall is not even the same thing. You must find a person. A <laughs> this guy's like, parent. listen, you're marrying I'm out of species. I don't know if you realize how fucked up it is that you're marrying a mall. Oh, travel? <laughs> yes, I'm taking you with me and we are going south. It's Winter scary. is coming soon and I don't want to be caught again. Winter is coming. Thumbelina, you saved my life. Winter is coming. And Thumbelina. now I'm going to try to help you. The Night King. The but reason Mrs. I was frozen. Would worry. We'll be here again. Mrs. Mole only wants you to be happy. I promise when we have found the proper place for you, I will fly back here and tell her what happened. And you will <laughs> that tell costume hurts my back so much? I yeah, I can't imagine being in this costume. Anything. It's like or a torture device. Him. It was just that, well, I thought I could find a better husband elsewhere. God of damn, course. she's savage, but now she's right. Now, come on and let's see. Mr. Yeah, Digger and correct. I were disappointed she can find to a better husband than so him. suddenly. But after talking it over, we realized Go! how much we had been asking of the little oh, girl. The world is so she beautiful. needed people of her own Thank kind. You, and the things around oh, her... Oh, the narrator is the mole woman. Yeah. It's the mm -hmm. kingdom of the flower children. Perhaps you'll like... She She's waiting for Mr. Young? Gorilla. Do they look like the me? The kingdom of the flower children. At least I'm up here in the sky at last. My I wonder where Thumbelina went. What's going to happen when she went to see that witch? Oh, I was happy flashback. there in my home, living in the walnut shell and playing games and dancing on the tabletop. <laughs> I could look out the window and see things like I can here. Remember when my life was awesome when I was just dancing around and wasn't being forced into a mole marriage? Wasn't being forced into horrifying mole marriage, yeah. There, yeah. Except for the bad, ugly bugs who tried to squeeze me and pinch me. I'm it was all good, except for those... What are you talking about? Also, Mr. Frog not catching any I negatives from this? Yeah, what the, the kidnapper no frog just, just got no, no, no problems here? Yeah, it was those I dirty insects. I little house, but nothing would protect me the cold winter wind. It was all that bad frog's fault. She should have left oh, there it is. my mother. There it is. Okay. Mrs. Mole was certainly nice to take me in. She saved my life. I appreciate the Thumbelina recap. <laughs> it's really needed. Yeah, I obviously, you know, I haven't been watching the fucking movie up till now. Oh shit, they hit God, they're running through it. I just realized they're hitting with the with the the Jujutsu Kaisen. You just died. Flashback. They go through every. She's going to the airport, bro. Oh no. Is she gonna take the left path or the right path? No one knows. If she takes the left path, that's what she turns into the adult the Thumbelina woman. Oh, I'm glad I didn't go through with it. I hope Mr. Digger won't be disappointed. <laughs> He's not disappointed at all. Look at him. And I guess Mrs. Moe will really be better off without me. I did the housework and was able to talk with her during the long evenings around her fire. I remember how sad I was when Mr. Bird was gone. I think that was the saddest thing. This happened literally two minutes ago. <laughs> but now everything is happy again. I'm going to oh, she a in land her kingdom? Where people look like me and act like me. I hope they'll like me. What if they hate you? Did you think about that, Thumbelina? What if you're I heard she was gonna marry a mole. We don't want her around. No, we don't want Miss Mole. The mole lover. <laughs> <laughs> they say the Melina's so easy that if you just say, I think it'd be a kind of good idea to marry me, she'll go with it. <laughs> I don't see any people. Hello? That guy in the back going like, oh. Hello there. Is anyone here? Who are you? And what do you want? Told you, racism. I hope I you're not bringing any you. moles here. I was also born in the <laughs> Then I was stolen away, and I've lost my mother. I've been searching, with the help of Mr. Bird, for some friends. Good thing she's far the fuck away, so we can't hear her. Did 
they just duplicate? Oh, okay. Them? In that case, I completely believe your story immediately. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess she is a tiny flower. Do they just hang out in their birth flowers all day? That's just like what they do for fun. I guess, I guess so. Then you know, what are you supposed to do after you're born from a flower? I guess so. I mean, you're supposed to leave the flower. I don't know about that. Finally here. Our history books have said that someday the rightful queen. Our history books said you were coming. Her name would be Thumbelina. And she was and it also, it also said you were. Oh God! It says right here in the history book she'd marry me. I have waited a long time, Thumbelina. Oh, but so long, so lonely. <laughs> oh my God! That's actually what's happening. It is 100% what's happening. I just arrived. Can't I live here a bit? Shall I find out if I will like it? Like you? No. <laughs> Forgive me. Absolutely Wait, not. But now stay with us a while, and I'll ask you again. <laughs> yeah, that guys, if a girl says no, you have to say, "I understand. I'll come back in a year and ask again." I know, I'm like <laughs> later, yeah. I'm very persistent, Thumbelina. Thumbelina was with her own kind. She knew she could live with the flower children forever. So she agreed to marry... She is with her own kind. Mr. Fern saw the wedding and flew back to tell us all about it. Oh, don't bring in Mr. Digger to see his wife get married. I just said, what would I say? Send in the ice cream machine story. <laughs> in the audience. Oh, oh shit, dude. Oh my god. She is not singing this hard in this scene. <laughs> like, the person singing the song is going at it, and the person who is talking those lyrics are like, oh, da 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 da. Cool man, you're getting married. <laughs> like uh, Josh Peck does a little bit. All these people are extremely. Hey, look, high. yeah, look at all these characters you don't know because you've never seen them before. Yeah, exactly. How am I supposed to be invested in fucking scared guy if I don't have enough time to spend with him? I don't care about him. I care about Mrs. Mole <laughs> and the frog. Yeah, I need to know if the kidnapper frog uh, got lucky with his kidnapping efforts. Yeah. He shows up at the wedding with his new wife. New kidnapped frog wife? Yeah. I need a where were they after all this? Like they show Mr. Digger yeah, and he's... Yeah, where are they now? <laughs> where is he now? He died alone and with plenty of money. <laughs> Oh yeah, plenty of joy after. Yeah, it's very important that you all stand as if as physically fucking possible while you sing. Just don't even look for a minute like you're actually doing it. It's the story about Thumbelina. She and the prince lived happily ever after. And so have I. Hey, it's the, it's, it's the mom decided knowing. decided he wanted to marry someone. So he <laughs> married me. Holy Thank shit. He really did just pick up the most clearest he woman. He was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm sick of this. I'm so alone. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Mrs. Mole, please marry me. I cannot believe this woman is still like, man, Thumbelina, she had it figured out. No, girl, if anything, we've just learned Thumbelina's life fucking sucks. Yeah, Thumbelina's life was hell, is what we've learned. Yeah. POV action of her on the horse ride. I sleep inside a flower and bathe in the morning glow. If I was Thumbelina, I'd almost get married to a bull. Next, some family footage of the ride. I imagine the accountant for the person is like, we need something to promote our theme park. He got this movie and he was just like, I just wanted like a commercial. You didn't need to do this. I didn't need all this, man. One out of the thousand and one Santa stories. A 
2001 Santa Arabian Nights. so much about arranged marriages they're not so bad I would I would love to hear her thoughts and it's just like the complete opposite of what the, the story is Floridian Nights yeah let's go get married I can't wait to live in an entire life of servitude with you just like Fumbelina can't just like my idol Fumbelina <laughs> That's why I ask myself, what would Thumbelina do? The end. Man. Santa is still telling the story on that beach? Wait for it. <laughs> Dog! <laughs> he had an end credits for his story. Okay, does anyone else feel like the, mis the Mr. Digger plotline went nowhere? <laughs> <laughs> they all discuss his story. Come on up here, boy. Personally, I think she would have stayed with him. I swear to God, if, they, if this dog is the thing that takes the, the sled out of here. Just taking a time out to say how good boy, how good of a boy this dog is. Good boy. Can't stress enough how much I hate this. <laughs> See this. Santa, please take off the jacket. He's doing it. Oh, he's finally doing it. He, he waited fucking seven hours. And he told that entire story. In the outfit. I can see why he didn't want to take it off. He does look kind of weirdly naked without it. Especially when he's just wearing a regular ass t-shirt underneath. And then he died. His soul ascends to heaven. And at the pearly gates. Oh wait. He's coming Zen. This movie was called Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny for a reason. It's time for you to meet the ultimate character. Go on! Why is it playing like horror music? <laughs> this is what it comes for you, comes for you when you die. <laughs> Even the dog is like, get out of here! I'll hold him off! Oh god, I'm Santa! <laughs> Run! That dog is visibly not barking, and they're still playing the barking sounds. <laughs> they are. He's just, he just want to have a good time. If anything, he's ruining the fucking shot. Yeah, <laughs> <my God. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> the dog was recasting that guy. Uh, yeah, dude, unfortunately, he hit the dog and they had to get a new. Oh, that would be so fucked up if they hit the dog and he cuts and there's a new dog. <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> I saw this movie in a theater. 
And when in a I theater. <laughs> in a theater, and when I saw that bunny coming towards the screen, I fucking lost it. That was a terrible nightmare. <laughs> My god, I had a horrible nightmare that I saw this fucking beast. I hear sirens. Hello, Rome. <laughs> He's really driving the shit out of that car. Where is that coming from? Good question, Santa. Go, speed racer. Go, speed racer. Go, speed racer. Go. This is the savior right here. They finally were like, all right, let's put the dog in the fucking car. <laughs> He's ruining the shot. <laughs> he is ruining put the, the shot. Put the dog in the fucking car. If I was the dog, I'd be attacking that bunny man at every given step. So, in the Animal Kingdom, they are now considering this ice cream bunny higher tier than the gorilla. Because he, he does was like, have a car. He does. Can't let anybody see Santa Claus without his Oh, that's why he didn't want to take it off, because he didn't want the kids to break the illusion of oh, him not looking like Santa. Oh, yeah. He didn't want to, he want to break kayfabe. Exactly. He's, he was, he's like the Undertaker. He's like, I gotta work the towns. They came to, they came to see Santa Claus, not Kris Kringle. <laughs> the buddy is actually Mr. Tigger in disguise. God, the heel turn that would be. What is this siren? That's Why does si he have a siren? Whoop whoop, it's the sound of the police. Whoop whoop, it's the sound of the beast. If I was an adult, I'd be terrified of this chorus of children singing with this bunny. With playing like air raid sirens from World War II. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> they evacuate all of Florida because they know shit is about yeah, to hit this it. Is, this is the sound that played in London when fucking the Nazis were bombing, <laughs> dog. Like, not a... Oh my god. America is under attack. He is also driving the, the old Bessie, the old Doctor Who car. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this did take place in London. Now the dog is barking and they choose to not put him in because they're singing. They cannot control that dog. The slow reveal of the bunny coming towards Santa. How long is this drive? <laughs> no brakes. Holy shit! I have to get into action. So, Ice Cream Bunny, you found me. Saved my life, Ice Cream Bunny. Save me, I <laughs> save me, White Bunny. <laughs> save me. That character looks mighty, mighty to me. I forgot this is his voice. Could it be the ice cream bunny? Of course, of course. Thank you, children. What do we mean, of course? What the fuck is happening? Well, <laughs> my old friend, the ice cream bunny. I surely hope that you'll be able to help me out of my predicament this time. Well, don't my me. old friend. Your children will be so happy, and you will help, won't you? Of course. And you rebel, you old hound, you were the one who helped her. Were you the one that brought the ice cream bunny to help me out? It was the dog who brought the bunny? Well, old friend, I'm surely glad that you've come to help. There's so much to be done. They are like way too close to each other. Now then, yes, of course, you all help, won't you? Now, what are we going to do, I wonder? 
think we'll all be able to help. Why, of course, of course. However, look at that day, the 20th. There's only four days left. Do you think that we'll be able to make it on time? There's so much to do and so little time to do it in. But of course, old friend, you will come through. We will make it, won't we? Of course we will. Does the bunny not oh, speak? Does he not have lines? I think he's talking right now. Oh, I thought that was Santa. Wait. He does have, like, a voice. I remember that. He's, But it's very weird when you hear him. Is he... Is he a bunny made out of ice cream? I don't remember the full lore of the ice cream bunny. I, th I think he is someone who sells ice cream and not made of ice cream. Well, I think anyway. To go, we've established that uh, we will try to make it, won't we? So children, you'll be looking forward <laughs> to We've established in the movie that we're going to make it, so the movie has to end now. <laughs> we spent all the money on Dumbelina and oh Jack... He's just gonna. Oh no, that's his car. It's a fucking crank car. Yeah. By the way, this is the solution. Actually, is that he's gonna take Santa away so he can take him to the North Pole. Bye, kids. I'm leaving you on this beach with my fucked up sleigh. No. Hopefully, you can find that gorilla again, and maybe he can pull it. Peace. Bye. The dog is catching up to them. That one kid trying to hold back the dog. This is legitimately one of the worst experiences I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. like, just, just wait a off minute. Off the rip. Oh, Huck Finn is back because we needed the crossover. So we yeah. need the sequel hook. Yeah, the sequel hook where they'll be back. You know, classic... Huckleberry Finn will return. <laughs> in The Avengers of Huck Finn. Bye, Santa. We didn't know that you could just get a ride away from here. If we did, maybe we wouldn't have spent so much fucking time trying to push your sled. Yeah, we wouldn't have grabbed all the fucking animals. Alright, now that he's gone, let's go jack the sled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrap it for parts. <laughs> That's right, Zed. He could he could move the sled anytime he wanted. Merry Christmas. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, dude. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Jesus Christ Almighty, that was the worst fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. So let's break I, it down. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is one of two cuts. The other one, instead of Thumbelina, you get Jack and the Beanstalk. And you get Jack and the Beanstalk story instead of Thumbelina, which I assume, just based off it being Jack and the Beanstalk, is a way less um, creepy. You love the, the love. I the would fucking hope so. Yeah. I, and that's the version I saw originally. I had never seen the Thumbelina cut before. Uh... Weird, weird the movie. A cut. Exactly. There's two cuts of the ice cream bunny, of course, as everyone knows. Obviously. Uh, yeah, the band. It literally just plays another movie in the middle of their movie. <laughs> it is bizarre. I was so happy to see that this was in the public domain. There was a couple. Funny enough, there were. I was going between this and Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, but Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street is actually a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there was one other one but maybe we'll save that for next year uh, but this is definitely one of those uh, this is a terrible movie this is maybe an infamously this, bad this movie this was objectively like horrendous like I need yeah. you to understand it is 100% this was uh, the worst thing ever
very likely one of the worst things. And uh, like I said, I saw this in theaters. <laughs> How uh, even? What theater would put this on? Uh, AMC. AMC put this on. To be fair, it was in coalition with uh, Rift Tracks, which is what I, where I knew it from. That's how I just saw that they were doing one of those. I said, I'll go one to one of those. And it was this, and it was a hell of an experience. It, it, the movie itself, it, like at a certain point, I stopped listening to what they had to say because this movie just is incomprehensible. <laughs> There's nothing. Like all the Santa ports are the same, except for the difference is the, the middle story is Jack and the Beanstalk. But even Jack and the Beanstalk has the same level of effects as Thumbelina did or worse, I think. Um, but yeah, there you go. So that's it for watching a public domain movie. There was also another one I think that was like Holy Night, Silent Silent Night, Holy Night, which is a Christmas horror film. So there's not a lot of public domain Christmas movies, so we got to hold these off for next year when we try again, <laughs> Zen, obviously. But thank you very much for joining us. We will... Yeah, thank you for making that suffering have some purpose. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully for watching this on YouTube, some of it got saved. I'm not sure how much of the singing will cause me to lose everything, because that bitch was really singing hard about being Thumbelina. Yeah, she was, she was really singing, man. She had feelings. She did, and her feelings were, I think Thumbelina's great. Honestly, I want I wanted uh, a live reaction of her learning that her goat was washed because when she learned the story of <laughs> Thumbelina, it turned out that it was terrible. When your goat is a fraud, <laughs> fraud alert! They call her double oh seven zero feet zero relevancy seven marriage proposals. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! Yeah. Well, we'll be back for more streams. Probably not next week because uh, next week is Christmas. But maybe the week yeah, after that. Yeah, next week is in fact Christmas. Yeah, and then we'll have to figure out if uh, we'll have time to do stuff Wednesday. But either way, thank you very much for, for watching. We'll see you guys later. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody.